up, gentlemen? So a true friend is somebody who tells you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Today, I'm going to prove to you that I am your best friend because I'm going to be super honest with you. I'm going over seven things you think are making you better looking when in reality are making you worse. Speaking of friends, if you're my friend and consider me your amigo, why don't you drop me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, I got you. You are awesome. You know what else would be awesome? If you turned on the notification bell and made that bitch ring. The first thing that guys think make them look better, but in the long term makes them look worse is steroids. Well, I don't talk much about steroids on this YouTube channel, and there are a few reasons for that. Reason number one is I don't know much about them because of reason number two. I've never taken them. I've never taken testosterone. I've never taken anything that you couldn't buy in a nutrition store. But the other reason is I feel like steroids is totally personal preference. If you decide that they're right for you, cool. It's not my place to say that they're bad or that you shouldn't. The truth is, I understand why people would want to take steroids. They want to get bigger. They want to get leaner. They want faster results. But the truth is, the reason why, personally, I feel I look good at 43 years, actually, I'm 44. I'm 40. Four. Damn, I look good for my age is what you're probably thinking. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. But the reason is because I've never taken anything and I've exercised my entire life. Guys, I'm here to try to encourage you. If you're thinking about taking steroids, stop. Because even though you might get better results like right now, long term, you're going to look better if you don't. And yes, there is a difference between use and abuse. But the truth is, the gains you get lifting and focusing on your diet naturally aren't going to be as fast. They're not going to be as dramatic, but they're going to stay with you longer. The other aesthetic downside of taking steroids is yes, your muscles might get big, you might get a six pack, but you may also get really bad back acne, not to mention boobies. Literally, you start to develop boobies because of the hormonal imbalance. Speaking of boobies, the second thing that guys think make them look better, but don't, is actually spandex shirts. All those tight ass Under Armour Lycra shirts that all these jack dudes are like, yo, I'm Jack, I look amazing. In a word, sausage. You look like a sausage jammed into a spandex casing with your love handles hanging out, your man boobies exposed, not to mention you're not as big as you think you are. In your head, you're like, yo mama, check me out. I'm the man, check me out in my spandex shirt, right? Don't I look studly? Everybody is like, damn, check out the douche in the blue shirt. He looks like a douche. But Alpha, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson looks jacked in his spandex shirts and you can't tell me he does. You're right, he does. He looks jacked, he looks amazing, but he also looks looks amazing with number three, but you don't, which is tattoos. What the hell is happening? I don't understand why people think it's a good idea to get tattoos on your face, on your neck, on your hands, even though you think right now you're absolutely going to love it and you look super hardcore and tough. Possibly, quite possibly, 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road, you might not necessarily be feeling the pot leaf on your face. Six months. Wait, six months. If you're like, yo, I want a tattoo. This is what I want. I'm going to get this. It's going to be barbed wire on my arm wait six months if you still want it after six months go get it number four this is gonna this is gonna sting some of you I'm sorry in advance all right number four the fourth thing that guys think make them look better but it actually makes them look a hundred percent worse is bad toupees or comb overs if I just grow it real long over here and just swirl it down and then make sure it doesn't move by jacking it with a bunch of hairspray nobody will notice that I'm receding stop don't do it. Gentlemen, I get it, right? Hair loss sucks. It's a bitch. And if I start losing my hair, the first thing I'm doing is hitting that link down below to today's video sponsor, Bosley, and grabbing the completely free guide to hair loss and hair restoration. Bosley, baby, it is all about my boys over at Bosley. If you are somebody that is losing their hair, you are worried about it, you're noticing a few extra hairs in the drain on your pillow, or your family, your dad, your weird Uncle Barry, they're bald, gentlemen, now is the time. Do not wait. Bosley has a solution for you at any stage of hair loss. Whether or not you're starting, you've already lost it, you're receding, gentlemen, they can help you, but they can't help you if you don't take action. And that's the thing. Do not wait. Guys, there's a link down below this video to a completely free, hear me when I say that, free. The guide is free. Free. Gentlemen, the guide is free and you can download it by hitting our special link down below. And while you're there, you're also going to get a $250 Bosley gift card for 
free. And if you decide to make an appointment, go in, sit down, and talk to one of the incredible Bosley counselors about you, your hair loss, the various options, you can use that $250 gift card at Bosley. Something else I'm going to link to down below, guys, is what I've been using for the past year, which is the low-level laser therapy cap by Bosley. So the way that this works, 30 minutes every other day, I sit there, I wear this bad boy at home, and I'm chilling, watching TV, or working. And the reason is because low-level laser therapy has been FDA cleared and proven effective in treating and slowing hair loss. And over time, it helps you grow thicker, more amazing hair. And even though I didn't notice that I was losing it, I'm not taking any chances. Honestly, I am so paranoid about losing my hair that I was like, yo, if it can help, I'm in. That's the thing. Why wait? Gentlemen, the worst thing you can do is wait and do nothing. If you are noticing that you're starting to thin, you're losing your hair, it's receding a little bit, or you have a family history, guys, do something about it today because the sooner you start, the sooner you address it, the sooner you can stop it, the sooner you can slow it, the sooner you can do something about your hair loss. Guys, hit that link down below. Go grab the completely free guide to hair loss and hair restoration, not to mention the completely free free $250 Bosley gift card that can be used when you make an appointment, go in and sit down with my boys over at Bosley. Do you think these handsome ass gentlemen were happy they went to Bosley? Hell yeah they are. They look amazing. The fifth thing that guys think make them look better but ultimately makes everybody laugh at you is dressing age inappropriate. Unfortunately, there's nothing that looks <laughs> kind of sad and a little bit pathetic and slightly like desperate than when you see a dude who's obviously a little more mature wearing like Hollister or American Eagle or like super trendy stuff, guys. Here's the deal. I know that it's tough to kind of identify like, okay, where is the line? But a general rule of thumb that I like to tell people is if you go into a store and everybody there is young enough to be your kid, peace out to another store. One of the things that I like to tell people is you can still dress super cool and stylish without dressing too young. A good recommendation is to go to department stores. Department stores like Bloomingdale's, like Nordstrom's, those are gonna have a good selection. Just like H&M, Zara, Forever 21, American Eagle, all right? There are some stores that are specifically designed and catered to a younger demographic. All right, other stores like the Banana Republic, the Gap, J. Crew are a little more age appropriate and timeless. They're not selling things that are super trendy, and regardless of if you're 15 or 55, you're gonna look okay. The sixth thing that guys think make them look better but unfortunately makes them look worse is trying to dress up jeans with dress shoes. Unless you know how to do it properly. So here's the deal. All right, distressed jeans, jeans that are light, jeans that have any type of distressing, they are not appropriate for dressing up. The other thing you need to understand is the shinier the shoe, the harder it is. When it comes to dressing up jeans, you got to pay attention to a few rules, all right? There aren't many, but there are a few. You need to look for denim that is non-distressed, all right? A dark wash pair of non-distressed jeans are going to be the perfect pair for dressing up. And instead of wearing a shoe that is super dressy, super shiny, what I'd recommend is something that's a little more casual. And in my opinion, shoes without laces typically look better with jeans. And so a simple loafer, one with a tassel, a monk, single or double, looks better. But what doesn't look better ever is the seventh thing that guys think make them look better and good, but unfortunately it just makes them look a little bit weird and definitely not stylish, which is tucking in a t-shirt. Whether or not it's a crew neck or a v-neck or a dressy t-shirt, I personally feel like it looks terrible when they're tucked in. A polo, on the other hand, some, sometimes, sometimes looks all right when it's tucked. In my my opinion it's better if you're trying to dress up a polo to go with something like this this polo is a lightweight merino wool polo right it's a dressier polo but notice the bottom right it's got some ribbing which means you can sort of do that and sort of drape it over right it's going to allow for it to look a little bit dressier without actually having to tuck it in in my opinion polos also look whack tucked in. I think you're amazing. Here's the deal. I hope you didn't get too upset and be like, oh, Alfie, you're mean. That gentleman, I'm not mean. I'm your boy. I'm your friend. I'm willing to be honest even when being honest might sting a little bit.